the barricade up. Oh, don't remind me. It was like a flaming battleground in there last night. Honestly, she wouldn't think she could have done it all on her own. Why oh, is she? Well, she's quiet, which is some believe me. Charlie said she got bad cut. She has. The doctor's put six stitches in her arm. We're expecting the district nurse round this morning. Well, I'd go up and see her, but if I do, I'm going to be late for work. Ah, well, don't bother, love, because you'd get no thanks for it. Honest, if my dad hadn't lost his job, I just might have thought about packing it in here last night. Well, it's a good job you didn't. It'd have been a bad show for her, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, that'd have been her lookout, wouldn't it? Well, you wouldn't have left her like that, would you? Wouldn't I? Don't you believe it? I have enough on dragging that shower at home through life from without trying to cope with her. Not that I don't feel sorry for her, you know. Ah, she'll pull through. Ah, well, she'd better. You know, sometimes I feel like smashing the place up myself. I know, but you don't, do you? Well, I haven't done it so far, but I wouldn't put it past myself. Hey. What? You spelled business wrong. Oh, Two what? S's in business. Oh, I never was much on spelling. There we are. Hello. As brilliant as she's beautiful, eh? We don't want anybody taking the Michael, do we? There we are. Try, love. Hmm, <laughs> try. It's never worried me, because I've never cracked on her with for ignorance. Oh, well, you're like me, kid. <laughs> Mind you, I have been to Oxford. No, get away. Oh, yes. I played a club there back in 47. Oh, you <laughs> damn thing. Hey, how's the invalid? She's uh, exhausted, thank goodness. Are you the husband? Eh? Hey? You know, you wouldn't believe what some women will get themselves into a state over. Hey, now, stop Oh, on. don't waste your excuses on me. It's just that we have plenty to do with having, without having to sort out the backwash of this kind of problem. Are you taking anything for it? For what? Well, I never saw a clearer case of dental alveolitis in my life. Where is she? Uh, oh, she's in the back bedroom. Come on, I'll show you. I'll find her. We've got a right one there, haven't we? Dental alveolitis, what's it? Bet she bleeds iron filings, that one. <laughs> I feel all right in myself, you know. Poor old Flurry. <coughs> Mm-hmm. Out. The doctor said I was to rest. He didn't say you were to lie there till rigor mortis sets in. And I'm not tied in the bed with you in it. Right. Cold. You'll be back in ten seconds. It doesn't take me all day. How's your arm? Uh, I'd be surprised if it didn't. You had a real old bean feast down the stair here. Do you feel the better for it? No. Well, it's a pity. Must have cost you enough, as well as causing other folk a lot of inconvenience. Right. Back in. Well, I bet you'd move faster if somebody yelled fire. Now, have you done anything this morning? Done anything? Oh, have your bowels moved? Yes. Well, that's one thing out the way, anyway. Open. Well, Mrs. Sharples. Huh? But tell me you were here. In that case, I'm surprised you bothered coming up. I happen to have brought a bow of up broth for Mrs. Lindley. Well, I dare say she's very grateful, but I doubt very much if she'll need it. You won't need it. I think she's the best judge of that. What this woman needs is peace and quiet. What she doesn't need is neighbours poking their noses in every five minutes. I beg your pardon. The best thing you can do is take that back and drink it yourself. I do no such thing. You might frighten some, but you won't frighten me, you know. I've been ministering to sick folk on this street a sight longer than you. Aye, I dare say. You've managed to survive most of them, too. Aye, and a fat lot of comfort they get from you and all. It's my job to carry out the doctor's instructions. I'll leave soft words for those that have time to waste. Now, if you don't mind, I have a job to do. Oh, it's getting quite a labour looking for him these days. 
always a naughty pussy strain like he does. Ah, well, it's his nature, same as it's mine to stop put. Except I've got no option. Oh, you've got a lawnmower. Aye, aye, that would give me years since I hung on to it. I used to think, um, well, you never know, one of these days you might have a bit of lawn. Not much good for scrap now. I used to fancy a bit of lawn myself once. Yeah, you know, I'd have given out for a decent bit of garden and a little greenhouse happen. My father had a greenhouse where we used to live. I was born there. Oh, not the greenhouse, of course, but it's not there anymore now, the house where I was born. Because I've got me allotment, mind, but that's the tidy walk for me these days. I don't get down there as often as I'd like, on account of the walk. I know. felt funny when it wasn't there no more. It didn't seem right pulling it down. Mind you, you know, it's surprising what you can grow around here when you make your mind up to it, in spite of all the muck. I were very happy as a child. Well, at least it seems like it, looking back. A few flowers, a bit of mint, a, a lettuce or two, it makes a big difference. She was a lovely woman, was my mother, when my father was alive. It never was really the same after. Yeah, it must be grand looking over your own bit of garden of an evening with the smell of the flowers coming up. Hey, do you know what I've been thinking? It makes a big difference. I've been thinking that I could have a bit of garden back here. Oh. Oh, that's a very good idea, Mr. Tatlock. Mind you, it wouldn't be much, but it'd be some Oh, well, I've seen some very nice backyards. Of course, I couldn't do it myself. Oh, well, I'm sure you'd find somebody willing to help you. Mrs. Uh, oh, yes, Charlie, uh, I'm in Mr. Tatlock's backyard. Oh, I should have said garden. Uh, be getting these flags up, you know. They, they've been down 20 years. It, they'll be well bedded in now. Hey, your Bob is in the kitchen. Oh, good. What's all this, then? Uh, Charlie, we've been thinking. Go on. There you know, they want a bit of getting up. What will? These flags. Oh, Mr. Tatlock wants these paving stones lifting up so that he can make a garden. Oh, ah, and they're a bit too much for me, you know. You mean me? Lift them? Oh, yes, Charlie, you could do that. Oh. I don't think he's up to it, love. Oh, you're no. quite right there, Mr. Tatlock. I don't mind admitting that. <laughs> I couldn't lift one of them. If there was a fortune in gold underneath. <laughs> At least I don't think I could. Yes, well, it takes different people in different ways, doesn't it? Wasn't it Harry Hewitt's mother, Jack, who had that terrible nervous breakdown? Oh, nervous breakdown, you might call it. Screaming at dubs is what I called it. She actually attacked him. Oh, is that all? I have a go at my slam twice a week. Ah, oh, you're joking, of course. But she attacked him with an implement. Oh, aye. That'll be a pan. It's generally a pan. Leaves its mark, but it's very rarely fatal. The implement in question was a knife. Oh. Oh, well, that's different. Naughty is that. They hushed it up, of course. And afterwards, well, they were just the same devoted couple they'd always been, weren't they, Jack? Ah, oh, well, as far as anybody knows. Ah, well, she'd have got it out of her system, do you see? I mean, it's got to come out, hasn't it? Can't stop in there all bottled up. I don't suppose for one minute she meant to do him in. It was just her way of showing, well, how she felt like. Oh, yes, I agree. We all have our moments. But then we don't behave, well, like Mrs. Lindley, for example. Oh, very plain to me what's wrong there, Mrs. Walker. I don't think I need say more. Men can be very irritating at times, but they do have their uses, don't they? Yes. Well, we all have our off days, I agree. There are times when we feel we just can't go on. But we don't carry it to such extremes, do we? Society would disintegrate. Oh, but it's nice to have a bit of sympathy. I like a bit of sympathy. Mm, well, I'll tell you one thing. Mrs Lindley won't get much sympathy from Nurse Hadfield. That woman, she is a barbarian. I had the misfortune to have her in here once myself when I was on the verge of a complete collapse and she showed an utter lack of understanding. In the end, I just had to get out of bed and carry on, simply to get rid of her. I've heard she's very good with the kids, though. Oh, that may be so, though I very much doubt it. In my opinion, that woman is a public menace. Oh, hello, Nurse Hadfield, and whatever brings you here. Business. Yes, well, we're all perfectly well, I'm thankful to say. So I assume it's Mrs. Lindley. How is she? She'll survive. Are you Mrs. Ogden? Aye, that's right. New in number 13. And how is Mrs. Lindley, by the way? She needs somebody sensible to call in from time to time. 
Somebody who won't stand any nonsense. That's why I called in. Nurse Hadfield, you have come to the right place. Oh, it was her that asked me to call. Oh, well, of course it would be. She knows that in times of tribulation, I am only too happy to oblige. She asked for Mrs. Ogden. So if you wouldn't mind looking in when you can. And mind, no nonsense. Morning. Good morning. Right, well, here we go, Mrs. Sharples. Third time lucky. Ah, it had better be. This mission would give an Eskimo pneumonia. Folk can think up enough excuses for keeping away from services, let alone blaming the boiler. Ah, look, you don't want to worry. I'll master this before I finish. I've got a real touch with stoves, Mrs. Now, there you are. Look, what did I tell you? Oh! <coughs> <coughs> That, 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 that's the damp, that is. You see, <laughs> it's damp from it not being lighted. I'll, I'll have another do at it after it's cleared away. Have you got it going? I told you Mr. Tatlock had managed it. Well, he hasn't exactly managed it. No, it's the damp, you see. <laughs> oh, I've spent some happy hours in here. You've what? Oh, yes, lovely night. Curled up by the stove here. Oh, it used to get right hot at times. What are you on about? Well, the war, arena. This used to be the air raid shelter. Surely you haven't forgotten. And what's that got to do with happy hours? Well, we did have some lovely times. Mm, it was a picnic for everybody, you know. Hey, um, I'll, I'll bet this could tell a few tales. Hey, it belonged to Bob Crosby, did that. He got killed on D-Day. Fell off a ladder when they were decorating the street. You know, I've often wondered what it'd have been like if we hadn't have won. Aye, I often think that's an old. Aye, me too. Uh, you know, these young'uns, they don't know the half of it. They wouldn't have had any of them gramophone records then, or, or electric guitars. And scarcely enough to eat, I dare say. Well, we did, so we've got something to be thankful for, haven't we? Aye. Hey, do you remember them incendiaries that fell down Rosamond Street? Yes, we could do with some incendiaries round here. We might get that stove going. Ah, well, I, I've got to go and see a man about the job. I'll, I'll come back and do it this afternoon. Wind will happen to have changed me then. And what's the wind got to do with it? Well, you see, uh, you're always liable to get a blowback when the wind comes from a certain direction. I thought you said it was the damp. Ah, uh, yes, well, so it were. <laughs> uh, damp and wind. <laughs> you do tell me some tales, don't you? Hey, sis. Oh, hello, Spider. What time's me dinner? I don't know. You mean you don't know? Well, it depends what time I get done with Mrs. Lindley. She sent for me. Hey, well, I'll come first. Sure, look, there might be money in it. Well, what about our Herman? Oh, she can't manage. She's single-handed here. Oh, look, I'm clem, love. I'm fair clemmed. Well, I know, Stan. I'm sorry, but I can't be in two places at once, now can I? <sighs> look, I'll tell you what, love. I'll see if I can't pick up a bit of something nice for your tea. My tea? My tea's ours off, yet. Yeah? I know. But think how nice it would be. Looking forward to it. <sighs> Hey, hey, stand, lad. I've been looking for you. I will take a good look, old lad. The way things are going, there must have seen before long. No, I, I've got a proposition for you. Oh, eh? Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I want some flags lifted. We got the tackle. What sort of tackle will you want? Well, I need a crowbar to start up with. Oh, well, then, Fairclough will have one of them. Are you on, then? No. No, I haven't got the strength. Oh, you're having me on. I'm not having you on. I haven't got it. Why, how do you mean? I'm clem, lad, clem. You can't work on an empty stomach, can you? Well, you've got the missus at home, haven't you? The missus is out the cupboards bare and I'm skint. Oh, here you will. Look, happen a pie and a pint at Rovers might help. Pie and a pint, mm. eh? <laughs> they might set me off, mightn't it? Uh, is this part of this proposition of yours? Well, I don't see why not. Albert? <laughs> you're on. <laughs> Come on, then. <laughs> yes, well, I have every sympathy with Mr. Tatlock. I think it's a very good idea. He's making some work for himself. Work? Ah, oh, well, I mean, there's a lot of hard work in a garden. Oh, oh, nonsense. It's creation. It's good for the soul. Well, and bad for the back, too, when you get to his age. Oh, Mr. Moffat, to hear Mr. Walker talk, you would think he had no finer feelings whatsoever. And yet, do you know, during the war, he wrote me letters that were sheer poetry. Hey, shut up, Annie. Oh, yes, they were. Sheer poetry. Oh, yes. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> there were times when they actually brought tears to my eyes. Shut up, will you? Uh, yes, well, I I'll, I'll better go and see what Mrs. Calderon wants for me, you know. Uh, cheers. Hey, Annie. 
I wish you wouldn't say things like that in front of customers. It's very embarrassing. I'm very proud of those letters, Jack. I wouldn't be ashamed to read them in public. You'd better not. You know, love, it seems a long time since you said to me well, the sort of thing you used to say. Oh, yeah. We seem to have grown apart these last few years, don't we? No, of course we haven't, love. It's, it's just, well, well, we're getting older, love. Mm, terrible, isn't it? Is it, Eck? I mean, look on the other side. We don't row as much as we used to. No. Jack, I know I'm not, you know, like I used to be, but you do still care, don't you? No, you know I do. Well, then, tell me you love me still. Huh? Hey, go on with you. You're no know, but an old spot. No, love. Please, Jack. Of course I do. <laughs> well, <laughs> say it, love, please. I love you. Will that do? You do get yourself into estates at times, don't you? I suppose I do. Ah, come on. I'll make you a cup of tea, love. If anybody comes in, they can wait. I'll need a pickaxe as well as a crowbar if I'm going deep, you know. Anybody home? Oh, well, you know, there's a lot of rubble under them flags. Ah, oh, well, they when they went down, so we'll have to go deep for soil. Ah, oh, well, if I, if I dig a hole, get the soil out and put the rubble in there, eh? Yeah, that sounds all right. It's good sandy stuff. Uh, there's a lot of rubbish up top, mind. Ah, oh. shop. Sure. Here, how much do you reckon I'll owe you? Well, now let's sell. We see. Um, <laughs> free beer for the rest of the week. That suit you? Ah, it suits me if it suits you. Mind you, I drunk twelve pints the other night on here. You what? <laughs> Don't worry, Albert. Only pulling your leg. Any service in this place? And, and if we find any buried treasure, we'll share it fifty-fifty. Right. You're on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling any better? You know, you ought to have a drop of port now and again. It does wonders for me, just a drop of port. My stan used to buy me port when we was courting, you know, for treats like. Did a lot of our courting in pubs. I, uh, I don't suppose we should have come to live round here if there hadn't been a decent pub handy. <coughs> Did you say something, love? Ah, oh, yeah, feeling down, aren't you? I don't know. You know, you don't get out enough. That's half your trouble. I have tried. Why don't you, then? It seems to work. Have you never thought about getting married again? I've thought about it. Just keep you occupied. The worst day's work I ever did was buy this place from Mrs. Lafferty. Oh, do you really think so? I worked in a bar once. That was the best time I ever had. I got to ever so well with the customers. I used to meet such interesting people. I never meet anybody now. Oh, you, you must have made a bit of money, though. I haven't been able to spend it on but myself. Oh, hey, look here. There's some dominoes here. Why don't we have a game? Oh, I couldn't. Oh, they're posh ones, aren't they? The fella bought them for me. When I was at the pub, I ate at the sight of him. He was fat and greasy. He used to come in there just to see me. He asked me to marry him. The very thought of him asking him just made me feel sick. But now I wish I had. Ah, oh, don't say on, <gasps> Right. Let's have the spade, ship it suits from this top spade. Spade. Oh. spade. Spade. Anybody at home? Oh, wait, give it to us. What is it you're doing? Shot tall. Oh, this is where you are. I thought you were going to get my boiler lit. What's going on here? I'm having a garden made. I see. Well, I hope you've got permission because you've got it if you're not. Well, And uh, have you thought about subsidence? Eh? Hey? Subsidence is mine workings underneath here. Well, we'll have a shift in a few flags and bury in some rubbish. Oh, I think I'm probably on three callers with the in his head. And what about my stove? Oh, all right, then. I'm very sorry. I don't like to drag you away from your garden. If you don't want to do a job, you shouldn't offer, should you? Oh. Oh, hello. Were you thinking of going? 
brought up to see Florrie? No, as a matter of fact, love, I was just waiting for our dentist. Oh. Well, I shouldn't bother going up if I were you. You'll do no good and you'll come out feeling miserable as sin. No, I'd come to the same conclusion myself. Tears every five minutes. She'll have to wring the sheets out if she doesn't stop. Yeah. Hey, what's going on down there? Can you hear that noise? Oh, yeah, I know. It's been going on all afternoon. Sounds like somebody digging for gold. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, you don't have to know what's not the luxury, do you? Oh, I'm sorry, love. I haven't got a clue. I've not been for ages and you lose touch, don't you? Oh, well, knowing our Dennis, and he's taken me, it's probably one of them horror films. <laughs> hey, that husband of yours will do anything to self an injury one of these days. She means yours, love. I haven't got one. What's he up to now, Mrs. Sharples? Well, I hope that Tatlock's wangled and digging up his backyard. I hope he's got a union card because he'll be down to cold face in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, he'll soon get tired of that. One thing, he's not had his tea yet. Hey, hey, don't you think we ought to get a few more flags up? All in good time, Albert. All in good time. You know, there's some satisfaction about swinging a pick. <laughs> Catch results. Oh, as long as you don't bust a gas main or something. <laughs> I never thought of that. Uh, that'd be a laugh, wouldn't it? If I hit a water main, you could have a fountain, couldn't you? Oh, well, never mind about the fountain. All I want's a bit of garden. And you'll get it, Albert. You'll get it. Right, mate. Hey, hang on, hang on, hang what on. What is it? Hey, it's a what? Well, what is it? And the oars in good neck, too. Wait a minute. It's ticking. Get away. It's Can't ticking, I tell you. As I said, off of me pick. Here, let's have a look. It's tell it right time and all, though. Oh, hey, you found it. I thought I must have dropped it here. Oh, thanks very much, lads. Huh. Hello, Charlie. Oh, thought I'd found something. Oh, well, what's all this, then? I thought you couldn't work on an empty stomach. <laughs> I'm going to empty stomach, am I, Albert? Meat pie. Oh. You know, you shouldn't encourage him, Mr. Tatlock. Get him started on all, and he's as happy as Mick. Daft about alls is our stamp. Ta-da. <laughs> Ta-da. It is a lovely Hey, hey, what, what is it? it? Oh, it sounds like... Oh, well, is it a brick or something? It sounds like metal to me. It's a few feet down, I should think, and all. Oh, well, we'll have to dig deeper, won't we? Yeah, mate. Oh. Have a supper dish. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Won't be long now. Uh, can you tell what it is yet? Oh, it's pretty solid, though. It, uh, like, some, like a tin chest or something like that. Could be, Albert. Could be. Right. Ready when you are. Look, put this in your bag, will you? It's way in my pocket down. Dennis, tell me the truth. We are going to see horror film, aren't but we? But you don't have to watch. All you have to do is close your eyes and I'll tell you what's happening. Look, look, as a special treat sometime, will you take me to see a real sloppy love picture with Anne Samiro and violins and then you can look down on the floor and I'll tell you what's happening. Mm. Oh, come on, Frankenstein. Excuse me, Mrs. Walker. Good night, Mrs. Good night. Did you knock? Yes, Mrs. Sharp. Well, I never heard you. Knock harder next time. Are you with us? Oh, I was wondering if Mr. Tatlock will invite me to sit in his garden. You'll be able to have a tour of the caves when that Stan Ogden's finished. Now, pay attention, will you? Mrs. Lindley, aren't you supposed to be in bed, love? Hey, what do you think you're playing at? There's nobody in. In where, love? Well, I thought I'd try conceptive if she's gone away, hasn't she? Hey, what's going on here? Well, I tried all along the street, but there was nobody in, so when there was nobody in there, I thought I'd come in here for a drink. Oh, you know, you ought to be back in bed. Jack, oh, love, Jack, ring the doctor. There's something really wrong. Oh, I haven't you right, love. Now, come along, love. I'll take you back. What she want to go back for? She's only just come. Mrs. Sharples, Mrs. Lindley is ill. There's not much wrong with her. She can walk down this street. Oh, she's wearing her pyjamas. Well, she's a sight more covering on than you've got. You just for a drink, love? Get an extra stout in there. Come on with me, love. Well, really. There you are. Hello, Florrie. Sit yourself down. Can you play dominoes? Here, Charlie, you better get that stout in. Oh, no, no. This one's on me, Mrs. Sharples. Thank you. You're a gentleman. Uh -huh. 
Milk's I didn't want to be on my own. Well, you're not on your own, are you? You're with us. Now, there, you take a look at them and see if your look's changed. Thanks very much. Well, then, how, how are we doing? Hang on, won't be long now, lad. Won't be long. What is it? Get out of here. Why, what's up? Up it! Why, what is it? It's a flaming great bomb! Oh, <laughs> 